The original 1981 arcade game was fun, but this enhanced remake is just badass. Everything about it screams excitement, from the heart-pumping music to the seizure-inducing explosions. Most importantly though, it plays extremely well, and it serves as a great example of how to properly update an older game. All you have to do is kill the enemies coming down the tube and try to prevent them from reaching the top. If they do reach the top, they start circling the rim and become a pain in the ass. The best ways to get rid of them at that point is to either use the super zapper, which destroys everything, or jump up and shoot them from above, which takes a certain power up to do. As I mentioned, the game has a rockin' soundtrack. It was actually available on CD at the time. Here's a few samples of music with the sound effects turned off. Every once in a while, you'll enter a bonus level, which is basically an obstacle course. The controls in these stages are extremely sensitive, requiring a very light touch. If you do manage to reach the end, you'll skip ahead five levels. The guy who produced the game, Jeff Minter, deserves mentioning. The games he has worked on tend to have psychedelic elements in them, and those are definitely noticeable in this game. Many of his games also have animals in them, something that becomes obvious when you read a list of games he's worked on. Although there are no animals to see in Tempest 2000, you'll see the names of some in the high scores. Anyway, Jeff is still creating games today, so if any of this stuff interests you, be sure to read up on them. One nitpick I had about Tempest 2000 is that it's a little too hard for my taste. Out of the 100 levels, I only managed to get to level 42, and it wasn't from a lack of trying. There are many things that make it difficult. In order to complete a level, you have to get to the end without being killed. If you do die, you have to start the level over again. Power-ups definitely help, but you can't carry them with you to the next level you always have to start from scratch. The shapes of the tubes become problematic sometimes. In some of the folded areas, like this one, it's hard to see the enemies that are coming up the tube. A lot of times I didn't even know what killed me. Hitting the three button on the controller zooms the camera in a little bit, which seems to help out. It's one of those games that some people will call challenging and others will call frustrating. I will say, even though I died a lot in the later stages, I still enjoyed every minute of the game. Excellent. Everything I showed you so far is from the main mode of the game. Two other modes are Traditional Tempest Excellent. and Tempest Plus. Both are less graphical versions of the game, which makes them kind of pointless. There's also a couple ways to play two player. In Tempest Duel, you have to destroy the other player. Each player is positioned on opposite sides of the tube, and enemies move around between them. When a player isn't firing, they can bounce the other player's shots back at them. It's a cool concept, but the graphics have been degraded to make it all work, and the action gets repetitive within a short period of time. A better way to play two-player is in Tempest Plus mode. The players play cooperatively, there's no power-ups, but it doesn't matter since you have twice the regular firepower. It ends up being extremely easy, so I suggest you skip to the harder levels from the beginning. I also suggest that each player stay on their side of the screen, since it gets confusing when you cross each other's paths. It ends up being a moderately fun mode, but not as fun as playing a regular one-player game.
Overall, Tempest 2000 is a terrific game that every Jaguar owner should have. It's a hard game to finish, but the excitement level is off the charts, and the gameplay never seems to get old. Thank you Jeff Mentor for helping to create this wonderful game.